Hey guys, yes, I'm wearing the same onesie again from last time, but this thing is freaking warm, okay? And it is pouring rain outside, so onesie time, okay? <laughs> Anywho, today's video is going to be a little bit more different as I'm looking at my bed here. Oh, I forgot a couple, but uh, you guys might uh, have a bit of a freak show when you <laughs> see that I, I don't know, I, I have a bit of a problem, just, just a bit of a problem. Yeah. <laughs> So today we're going to go through my anime nerdy plushy collection, which is rather extensive. <laughs> so without further ado, here we go. So this is the layout. <laughs> we're going to go through each one individually because I literally have no life and I collect many things. <laughs> First two I'm going to show you guys are Kagome Ninuyasha, and Kagome Ninuyasha will always be my top anime ship or my top anime couple, just because Inuyasha was the anime that started it all for me, and Inuyasha, he was pretty easy to find. I've had him for quite a while. He's, you know, been with me for quite a while. I think he was my first anime plushie, actually. But Kagome, she was really hard to find. I freaking, like, scoured eBay for, like, two years, and I finally found her, so yeah, Inuyasha and Kagome. Next up is Soul and Maka from Soul Eater. And keeping with the Soul Eater theme, we have Anya as well as Meimei and Sugumi from Soul Eater Not. We have Satsuki and Ryuko from Kill la Kill. Yui and Mika from Seraph of the End. The Heroine and Shin from Amnesia. And Ayato from Diabolic Lovers. We've got Kirito and Asuna from Sword Art Online. And Sainan from Sword Art Online 2. We've got Mr. Edward Elric from Full Metal Alchemist. Madoka from Madoka Magica. Taiga from Toradora, Ichigo and Orihime from Bleach, Aqua from Konosuba, Nanami and Tomoe from Kamisama Kiss, Yuki and Zero from Vampire Knight, Meliodas from The Seven Deadly Sins, Holo from Spice and Wolf. We've also got Hiyori and Yato, who actually were made by my good friend Memorial Botan on DeviantArt. I'm gonna link her DeviantArt down in the description below. She makes amazing, amazing plushies, and she made me a Hiyori and Yato. Hiyori even has a freaking spirit tail. Like, look, look at that. So yeah, Hiyori and Yato. And she also made me Ruricio from Inuboku SS. Mew Ichigo from Tokyo Mew Mew, or Mew Mew Power for those of you who know the English dubbed version. Like Kagome, she was really hard to find. I've got a little Hatsune Miku, Vocaloid. And I've got Freya from Chobits. Oh, and I forgot to take them off the shelf, but I also have Natsu and Lucy from Fairy Tail. Now the next few I'm gonna show you are from Pretty Cure, and yes, I know if you saw my really, really old video talking about the Glitter Force dub, you might not know that my opinions have changed since then, and I'm going to link my other video, my more recent Pretty Cure video, down in the description below. I gave Pretty Cure a second chance, and I enjoyed it, and I like the characters so much that I got plushies of them, so here we go. <laughs> so here we have Cure Flora from Go Princess Pretty Cure. Nothing against her, her hair is incredibly soft and she's very adorable, but I found this bigger one as well, and I very much enjoy the way the face looks for this one, but still, regardless, they're both cute. Then we have a giant Cure Happy, which some of you might be like, what the hell, because like I said before, I bitched about Smile Pretty Cure in the really old video, but again, things change, and I gave it a second chance, and you know what? I like her. She's probably my favorite when it comes to Smile Pretty Cure. Her and uh, Rika, or Cure Beauty, the blue one, but uh, yeah, she's cute. I really enjoyed Maho Girl's Pretty Cure, and so I invested in Cure Miracle, Cure Magical, Cure Felice, and Cure Moforun. And the last Pretty Cure plushie I have is actually Cure Whip from the newest in the series, uh, Kyura Kyura Pretty Cure a la mode. And I like her and her little twin tails and her little, little bunny tail, and she's very cute. I don't think these are really considered anime, but I'm including them because I just, you know, wanted to. But uh, anybody who watches Miraculous Ladybug will know how strong the fandom is, and I freaking love them. They're so cute. So I got these guys. It's, you know, Ladybug and Cat Noir, and they're really adorable, and they're handmade. Like, these are handmade. How crazy is that? Plus, honestly, I freaking live for Miraculous Ladybug fanfiction, like freaking Adrian and Marinette, Chat Noir, and Ladybug. Oh my god, just like, it's so addicting. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's my guilty pleasure and it is so addicting. And the last thing I'm showing you guys is my unhealthy Build-A-Bear obsession. I have Eevee, Vulpix, Pikachu, Charmander, and Squirtle, all from Build-A-Bear. Because I, again, have no life. <laughs> but anyways, there you go guys. That's my anime slash nerdy plushy collection that I have. I have a bit of a problem, I understand, and yes, I am not going to be going to plushie rehab. <laughs> it's not happening, I'm sorry. It just, 
it's not happening. But I did find Coromon when I was looking through my shelves, so here's my Coromon. And I love him, and I love Agumon, and Coromon has always been my favorite uh, in-training uh, Digimon. So uh, yeah, Coromon, there you go. Remember to give this video a massive thumbs up if you guys liked it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys like my videos. Keep being awesome, and I'll see y'all next time with a brand new video. Bye, guys.